Hello Aries, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration and I am here for your December 2020 general read. This is going to be for Sun, Moon and Rising Aries, December of 2020. Well, although the calendar year 2020 is over, in December, the energetic year 2020 is not really over yet in December. We still are going to have a few more months left until your season starts, of course. Um, but December is still going to be pivotal since in the third dimension, we have the endings of some cycles um, and really the beginnings of a 10 year cycle, right? Which is, which is signified by 2020, the beginning. So um, let's see what December has in store for you. Uh, coming up here pretty quick um i want to just let you know we are using never mind my mouse we are using two different um oracle decks you know as we sometimes do um we are using on this side the sacred destiny oracle and on this side we are using the work your light oracle and then we'll be using my lovely thelema decks so thelema deck thelema for the clarification. So let's get the oracle set up here, okay? So what do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for December 2020? Aries, one card, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, December 2020. And we have happiness on this side here. That's a good card for you guys to get. Happiness in December. And let's get one work your light card, please, for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, December 2020. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, December 2020. We have Anna, Mother of Jesus, Grandmother of Jesus, excuse me, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Just from these two cards, just from the Oracle, you know, I like to give a little bit of input as far as from the Oracle is considered. Um, I feel like December is a month, you know, that's kind of like the end of third quarter, if you will, for Aries, or actually the beginning of fourth for Aries season. And when we get into the end of third beginning of fourth quarter in corporate america i will say we tend to see all the plans that we have laid for the first three quarters finally coming into a rhythm right we see you know during third quarter you tend to see like okay well the things we set out to do first quarter and this actually can like go right along with like lunar cycles as well. The things you set your intentions to do at the new moon, you begin to work towards them and put a lot of attention and work towards them at during that first three month cycle and then the next three month cycle and second quarter. There's not a lot happening. Um, out in the open but there's a ton happening behind the scenes and i feel like your first quarter and then your second quarter you had a lot of that going on there was a lot of work being done there was a lot of oh my goodness wow well you know this is my end goal or i think this is my end goal but i'm really going to set my intentions and my attention towards a specific um portion of this goal and because of that then you set out to do the work you set out to do the shadow work you set out to learn more about spirituality you set out to um learn more during your awakening your ascension process you set out to do all of these great things and um as a result okay of that um in third quarter you began to see some of the fruits of your labor things started to kind of begin to get into place and as things got into place you were able to change and move um, and alter some of the plans and now during fourth quarter you're seeing the harvest so there's this happiness coming around and not only you're seeing the harvest I think for a lot of you Aries bringing these things into 
But completing a plan, completing a project, completing some portion of it, working all the way to the end, did a lot for you and for your self-confidence. It did a lot for you to stay the course, stay, stay in faith, you know, keep going rather than just kind of tossing it off to the side and not um, really, you know, like changing it up in the middle just because it wasn't working. Having patience has paid off. Um, and having faith in yourself and in spirit and in working together has paid off. And now you're feeling happy, not just because you're seeing the fruits of your labor, but because there is something beautiful about proving to yourself that you're not just a starter, that you're a finisher. There's something beautiful about that. And it gives you a sense of self-satisfaction and it can even, you know, make one rather happy. Where Anna, grandmother of Jesus comes in at is I'm hearing that this is just the beginning. That the seeds you've sown during this 2020 season, the seeds that you have sown during 2020 are about to literally explode. They're about to literally explode. They're about to become something so much grander than what you could have ever imagined. And you're seeding your light right now. You're seeding the next stage for your ascension. You're seeding the next stage for your um, awakening process. You're seeding the next stage for what you're going to manifest in the natural, in the 3D. You're laying down these foundations and really and honestly, it's not so much about the actual physical foundations and planning that you're making. It's you've laid a foundation to, again, show yourself you're not just a starter, you're a finisher, that you can have the patience to see it through to the end, that you can be successful at this. Whatever this is, you can be successful at it. And that you can sit still, listen, and then take off in the right direction. And when you hear you're supposed to turn left or turn right, you can turn on a dime. And you're not missing those marks. So you're laying down, a, you've laid down a beautiful foundation for how you're going to operate in the, in the spiritual in the coming year, months and years. And you're understanding very fully that there is a divine plan. And not only is there a divine plan, but you are an active participant in that plan. You're not just a spectator. You know, walking in um, the plans that, in, in the divine plan, walking in your spiritual um, higher self, right? Paying attention to your higher self. Walking in that is not just, it's not a, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And you're understanding that it's a marathon and you're getting comfortable with the fact that it might take a little bit longer than you originally anticipated. The energy coming towards you is nine of wands. And I, it's, it's kind of to me like, be still and wait, defend your position, put your attention to what's actually growing and what is being, being successful right now. You are going through this death, this transformation. You are allowing old thoughts and old ways to die. You're allowing old relationships to die and you are seeking your own personal rebirth and you're seeing the fruits of allowing it to happen. You are seeing the results of, yep, if I let this die off, I can actually have more. Rather than if I, if I don't let this die off, I got to hold on to it for dear life because I might not get anything else. What could be an obstacle is um, the Knight of Pentacles. I think still what is an obstacle, what potentially is an obstacle for you is that you do want to run. So that, that, that desire to run, um, and the need to be a little bit cautious 
right, is what could potentially be an obstacle. But we do have the Two of Cups. Is somebody coming in to really be a partner with you? Mm, let's see what that's about. And then the outcome or advice is the star card. So let's, um, I want to get a little clarification on that two of cups. I'm pretty nosy here. Why is this two of cups here? Queen of wands, Sagittarian, Leo or other fire energy. Victory. So there's a, there's a very confident, some, a very confident person coming into your world. Could be a Sagittarius Leo or Aries fire sign, but that has various and could be either male or female. However, the energy that this individual is bringing is not only nurturing but it's empowering. It's a energy that that is that is igniting your reigniting passion, helping you define your vision in a very nurturing way, reminding you with the sunflower that the sun comes out tomorrow, that there's brighter days still yet ahead, that you, your best days have not passed, but they're still yet in front of you, and is, is going to be rather pivotal. You know, with these three cards here, I feel like this is a faded or a soulmate type connection. It doesn't have to be romantic. It's just meant to be that is going to assist you in this path and then um, bring you into victory. Because remember, the, the issue at hand is that you might not want to slow down. This person is going to help you understand that even in slowing down, you're actually still moving forward and going to be able to support you. Could be a mentor, could be whatever, but is going to be able to support you and guide you and assist you and lift you up. Could be a brand new friend that's come in, could be a business partner. But it helped you to continue to keep your eye on the prize and bring you into this victory. Uh, I'm sure that Anna, mother, grandmother of Jesus, when she had, when she bore Mary, mother of Jesus, pretty sure that she was that, you know, she may not have known, but she knew. And 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 you know, we don't talk about her a lot, but I have to imagine as well that she was probably very instrumental in Mary's like I'm okay like you're okay you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do be patient it's all gonna play out in the end there is a plan here and I feel that that Queen of Wands is helping to remind you and guide you through the divine plan the star card the outcome or advice was wish fulfillment everything that you've ever wanted and it's coming quickly with that chariot card could also be Aquarius could also be a um, there's cancerian energy, but it's coming quickly and you're going to have to, it's interesting. It's like you have to be decisive in your steps while at the same time, be careful that you don't overrun it. In other words, when you hear, I'm supposed to make a step, just a quick double check and then move, not bring it all the way back. And I got to like, wait, 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 wait. But understand, okay, wait, is this, am I wanting to make this move because I'm fearful it's not going to happen in the time I want it to happen? Am I being impatient or am I wanting to make this move because I, I hear very clearly from spirit? Yep. This is what we're supposed to do. Oh my goodness. And here's judgment. So this is all, you know, major arcana here and the outcome. So what is happening and being laid out for you in December and where you're moving as we move into 2021 is all divine planning. Release everything. Third dimensional worry, third dimensional concern, third dimensional fear, how your mind feels like, oh, I should do this. Release it all and listen to creator and move when spirit says move because this is all coming into and resulting in your ultimate incarnation reason right your reason for incarnating this is all moving towards life purpose all of it straight up all of it so you gotta move with it you gotta go with the flow 
and be ready to change your plans on a dime be ready to change your plans and do something in a way that you may not have thought possible before and the reason why this nine of wands is here i firmly believe as well is because while you're moving with the speed of spirit while you're being built up and assisted by this queen of wands to victory you have to remember that all of the things that all the little um or what might seem to you to be little wins you've had during 2020 remember their wins and this is going to help build your faith remember that they were wins remember oh yep i stopped i listened i heard and i didn't go the way my mind thought i should go i went the way i heard the spirit and i got a win from it i i saw something from it something came of it that was very positive and was feeding into my um higher purpose so remember the wins because those wins are very they're they're, they're critical as we go along this path um because as we recall the wins we bolster our faith and we remind ourselves oh yeah i had great success great success in this area so i'm definitely going to have great success in this new area okay don't doubt yourself you're on the right path it might not make sense to you but i have a feeling that your wish fulfillment is going to come to you a lot faster than you think like you you you've done all this work up until now and now it's you're flipping that switch and you're like Phew. but you're learning how to discern right from left up from down and my, it might still feel to you like you're being throttled it's actually you're learning to discern it a lot faster because then you don't have to go through some issue you don't have to go through some experience in order to be like oh dang i should have turned left and I, I heard that, but I didn't think it was the right way. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that discernment comes quicker and that means everything else comes quicker. And, you know, I'll be doing the 2021 forecasts here very soon. Um, that's just going to propel you off into the next thing. I, I, I look, December is going to be very good, very foundational. Um, and overall, I feel like you're just going to feel just generally good about where you've come from and where you're going. Thank you so much, Aries, for being here with me. I so appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to leave me some comments um, if this you know, resonates with you or let me know how we're going to integrate this into your life this month. Um, and also, if you wish to work with me, there's ways to, you can um, go to heartofinspiration.net and, and work with me that way. Uh, we've also, um, Heart of Inspiration, we have opened up a, the Lightworker Academy more in full-fledged force, and we have begun our masterclass. Um, if you're ready to take yourself to that next level and you're ready to um, you know, identify, clarify, and monetize your uh, your purpose, right? Your plan um, as energy workers and light workers, um, then reach out to me at info at heart at lightworkeracademy.net and, um, you know, let's arrange for um, a, a call or two just to see if you're ready, if this is a fit, this masterclass is a fit to help take you to the next level. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.